welcome to Mary Artists. We are married. And we're also artists. As you guys know, this is episode three. And what we wanted to talk about was how we started making art together, how we collaborate like we do now. We're just going to tell you guys the story from the beginning. And I uh, hope you enjoy. First, we're going to do some questions. We want your questions about marriage and art. You can send questions to the email below here, marriedartists. Yes at gmail.com. Send us your questions about marriage and art, about what it's like to be married and also be artists together. So Heather, this is my question for you. What's your most memorable art time with me? The first time I remember doing art with you, it was one of our first dates. We went up to your aunt's house and we got these big like metal boards. Oil pans, they're oil pans oh. from Walmart. We went up to his aunt's house and spray painted. We stayed up painting pretty late at night, and it was always a crazy time when I hung out with you. You know, shout out Aunt Sally. Yep. I made a lot of art in that garage. I remember I made a heart and I wrote out like different words that, of just negative feelings that I wanted to get rid of, like anxiety and fear. Well, Heather, what's your question for me then? How did you first get into creative process and looking at art introspectively? At Shawnee State University, actually, we took this class, and when I say we, I mean me and my housemates at Shawnee State, uh, we took this class called Creative Process with Lane Reiser, nationally recognized watercolor artist, and he taught us that there's really creative opportunity in everything, and there's value to be found in every stage of the process of art making or any kind of craft or even in life. And I remember this very vividly. We were all sitting in a circle instead of desks. And uh, there were some weird rumors about the teacher that he was kind of like a hippie. And he didn't say anything about art. He just sat down and was like, guys, love your spouse for who they are, not who you want them to be. He opened the door. He gave us the mission for uh, making art and really just immersing ourselves in that, giving us some excuses to stay up late and do our projects together. I owe a lot to him and how I think about art and creative process. Yeah. What's next, Heather, what's next? How did we meet? Both went to Shawnee, we played on the soccer team, and you happened to live in the dorms across from mine. So we always, like, we're passing each other because we're going from class to our dorm, and we said hi to each other. I was doing art in my dorm with a few of my soccer friends, Leslie and Maddie. Nick was coming, walking along the sidewalk and there was two other guys that were coming into our dorm and so Nick met up with them and came in there and then he was talking to me about uh, this birdhouse thing that I was painting for my big. And then that night, uh, you asked me to go get a frosty. It was like 10 o'clock. So you rejected me. You said no. I was like, Nick, we're gonna have to take a rain check on that because <laughs> it's my bedtime. So anyway, you asked me to see the meetings the next night. How was it different making art when we were dating compared to making art when we're, we're married? How did it start? We were always doing these little creative process uh, activities. Nick was really busy with CMAR, so we were always just doing our own art and it, I started drawing uh, pictures and then I would like write out just like journal on the art piece and write out all, everything that I was feeling. Stream of consciousness writing. That's the kind of the work that we were being uh, encouraged to do in Lane's class was stream of consciousness, journaling, art prompts that were randomly generated and then we would make something out of that. And we spent a lot of time just sitting together or you coming over to my house and being with my group or mm -hmm. when we put on art shows and make art for it. We doodled a lot together. Like some of our dates we would go to Starbucks and draw on a piece of paper and we would like add to each other's drawings. We always kind of kept mm -hmm. my business separate from right. what the kind of art you were making, right? When it came to business, I was strictly doing my stuff and uh, you were just making art on the side. But right. one day that changed and- One day Nick had a job right across the street from my work. I was like, how's it going, Nick? And you're like, it's a little bit frustrating because the paint's not going on as thick as I want it to. I'm gonna have to go over all this, like go over a second time. I was like, well, just give me a paintbrush because I'm an artist too and I can help you do this. So it was like a whole revelation to us. <laughs> like, wow, we can work together because oh we goodness. can both paint. What strengths do we both bring to Nick Sherman Design? You're 
really good at the business side and dealing with the clients. Probably handling the clients and selling, right? Yeah, and you're also good at graphic design. So most of the time, Nick like designs the, the design that we're gonna paint. With input from you, like as you've gotten better, yeah, you give me more. Input. You give me more and more input. Yeah. Which is super helpful. Like just having eyes to run it by who have good aesthetic taste, like is invaluable to me because I can get in my own head and think like that I have to go a certain direction. Sometimes I do little doodles or drawings of like what's in my mind, and it'll start you on a whole nother like, like thought process and it's just like good to have a fresh perspective I think for you. You Heather, you're really uh I mean like you're one, you're an extra set of hands and you can always be working on things even as I'm trying to stage up paint and mix colors or mm -hmm. and that's just really energizing to me that I don't feel like I have to keep stopping the work. You know, yeah. I think it makes our flow and uh process better yeah. and also you're really pretty to look at so. oh. all right everyone until next time like and subscribe look forward to another episode next week right episode four send us your questions send us your questions married artists at gmail Woo! <laughs> and heather dances at the end of every segment <laughs> what's life without a little bit of dance you know right, right. it's gotta have it